Trinidad and Tobago is under that tropical storm warning from tropical storm Brett and obviously uh, both islands are feeling the effects of the system as it goes through. Now uh, Brett has uh, formed rather usually early than uh, we typically expect. We basically uh, in the month of June don't expect systems to be forming uh, so far south and also so early. Normally it's into August and uh, beyond but obviously right now with uh, Grenada, Trinidad and Tobago and northeast Venezuela under this tropical storm warning and with tropical storm conditions extending further as you go as you go through the next few days now the worst impacts of the system as it set to come across you'll be feeling it obviously uh, from uh, nine o'clock going onwards so definitely overnight into the early hours this is when you'll see the heaviest of those rainfall coming in especially along uh, the hillsides it could be heavier than it normally is now we could be seeing obviously not only the uh, gusty squalls but the torrential downpours which also could cause mudslides or landslides especially in those uh, hilly areas and uh, those uh, rough seas expected as well and there's a rough seas bulletin in effect now the rain is set to be the major concern simply because up to 125 millimeters is likely to fall in less than that the 24 hours we usually expect a uh, half of that to be in the month of uh, June so half month's rainfall in less than a day that's obviously a cause for concern and that rain will be falling all the way across uh, both Trinidad and uh, Tobago with those uh, heavier bursts of downpours expected along the hillsides as well the possibility of street or flash flooding and also there's a tropical storm force winds likely having the palm swaying as you go through the evening into most areas and into most areas of uh, Trinidad and Tobago as well down the southern coastline here you will see a lot of the rain continuing to fall down along a Maruga in the two of the northern part of a Trinidad most areas will be under this blanket of cloud even though you may see a spells in terms of a drops in the rainfall it will quickly return so be mindful about that as you go about your business obviously the best place to be is indoors down towards our southern areas in particular along of those hillsides along the Trinity Hills Guara Guarari Gua Point Fortin and into uh, San Fernando. The hillier you are, obviously, the more rainfall you will likely get, and that also increases the possibility of uh, landslides, remembering uh, that uh, the soils are already saturated. Today, we're likely to see highs that's about uh, 32 degrees Celsius, and uh, the unsettled conditions definitely will continue all the way through Tuesday afternoon. We could be seeing uh, some of that lingering into Wednesday for both islands, despite a tropical storm Brett being well out in the Caribbean Sea by then. There is a break on a Thursday. We could be seeing a bit more showers by Friday. Now, the Rough Seas Bulletin is in effect for all of those marine interests. You are asked to exercise a caution, especially along those northern, southern, and eastern shorelines. Bearing in mind that we could be seeing a waves obviously above three meters and further out in the Atlantic, looking at maybe four and a half to possibly five meters for the most part. So be very mindful about that as you go about your business. And obviously, you should be indoors or you should be obviously have secured your boats by now. So obviously, take care as we go through the next few days with a tropical storm Brett in effect. That's your weather and that's it from me.